Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. How are you doing? I have been great. Before we start the video, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sabro Jumar Harinto Junior. With Junior, I am currently a fifth semester literary student at State Islamic University of Sharif Hidayatullah or Winshai for short. The reason why I making this video, aside from the obvious reason, uh, as the title of this video may suggest for my final examination, is to give to all of you, my fellow friends, a brief, informative, and hopefully entertaining video about pure and applied translation based on James Holmes paper in 1988, the name and author of translation studies as referred by many many translation studies scholar uh, and even active translator as a crucial works in attempt to define the translation studies and what it cover okay uh, without any further nonsense let's just jump into it James Stratton Holmes, or I might call it Mr. Holmes, is considered to be the founder of translation studies as an independent field of study. He also coined the name of translation studies for the field. Before that, the translation was considered as a sub-branch of linguistics and didn't even have any name by its own. And different scholars were using different kinds of title to refer to this field, but now, thanks to Mr. Holmes, I guess we kinda have a name for this field of study. Long way back then, in 1958, at the Second Congress of Slavish in Moscow, the debate between linguistic and literary approach to the translation reached a point where it was proposed that the best thing that might be to have a separate science that was able to study all kind of form of translation without being wholly within linguistics or wholly within literary studies. In the for development for the field, there are lots of disagreement between scholars on different aspects of this field. Then in 1988, the Amsterdam-based American scholar James S. Holmes, or Mr. S. Holmes, in his paper, The Name and Author of Translation Studies, later introduced what was become the fundamental statement for the discipline. A famous classification uh, of translation concept and theories has been given by Holmes in his map of translation studies. According to his scene, translation studies are classified into pure and applied translation. Pure translation studies are subdivided into descriptive and theoretical studies. Descriptive uh, translation studies, or DTS for short, are categorized into three orientations. The first one is the product, the second is the function, and the third is the process. While the theoretical translation studies, or THTS for short, are in general or partial. Partial theories are restricted based on medium, area, rank, sex type, time, or problem. The next branch of translation studies is applied translation, referring to the application of translation in other fields of discipline. Descriptive translation uh, studies aims at building an empirical descriptive discipline to fill one uh, section of the home map. Part of this application uh, was the theory of policy system, in which translated literature is seen as a subsystem of the receiving or target literary system. Okay, uh, let's jump to the descriptive uh, translation section. The first one is the product oriented DTS is uh, cover the area of research uh, which describes existing translation. Uh, next is function-oriented DTS is uh, cover the 
interested description of translation function in the recipient socio cultural situation. The last is process oriented TTS concern itself with the process or act of translation itself. The problem of what exactly takes place in the mind of the translation while translating. Theoretical translation is interested in using the result of descriptive translation studies in combination with the information available from related fields and disciplines to evolve principles, theories, and models which will serve to uh, explain and predict what translating and translation are and will be. Uh, there are several uh, Sub subcategory of the theoretical translation. The first one is the medium restricted theories, concerned with the medium of translation, so whether translation is done by a machine or a human. Uh, the second is area restricted theories. This can be two types restricted to language or culture with varying degrees. The third is uh, rank restricted theories. Theories that deals with discourse or text as whole. Uh, fourth is text type or discourse type restricted theories dealing with the problem of translating specific types or general or lingual message. Uh, the fifth is time restricted theories uh, fall into two types. Uh, theories regarding the translating uh, of contemporary texts and theories having to do with the translation of texts from an older period. Uh, the last but not least, the problem restricted theories, uh, which confine themselves to one or more specific problem within the entire area of general translation theory. Applied translation. First area related to applied translation studies is teaching. Uh, it is divided into two parts. Uh, uh, the first one is translation has been used for centuries as a technique in foreign language teaching and test of foreign language acquisition. Second, uh, translation is taught in school and course to train professional translators. Next is uh, translation aids. Uh, the needs for this type of applied translation fall into categories. The first category is lexicographical and terminological. The second is grammar. Uh, the, the last part is applied translation studies of translation policy. The task of uh, this translation uh, scholar of uh, applied translation is to render informed advice to order in defining the place and role of translator, translating, and translation in society. Okay, uh, I think that's all uh, about uh, this translation studies video. Uh, when one talk about translation studies, uh, the question is always goes like, do we really need uh, the translation theory or uh, there are a lot of active translation translator that doesn't even uh, know that their theory exists uh, in the field of, of studies. Uh, my, uh, my thought is uh, like, uh, yes, of course, uh, you guys can be a professional uh, translator without even knowing about uh, the translation theory. But uh, when you learn and what is it? Uh, when you learn about uh, the translation theory, uh, it gives you uh, uh, even more uh, depth uh, and comprehensive uh, skills of translation. Uh, after all, it depends on you uh, if you want to give efforts to uh, learn about this translation theory it uh, really uh, reward you but uh, if you uh, weren't interesting enough to learn this uh, to learn the theory that's okay uh, it's up to you uh, 
I guess uh, that's all uh, that I want to say. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, uh, thank you uh, for uh, the view. And don't forget to <laughs> give likes and comment. Bye-bye. <laughs>